today. I convinced myself that I was gonna go tomorrow. But we all know I'm not gonna go tomorrow. <laughs> I'm doing it. Proud of myself for getting out. coconut latte instead of oat milk it has more of a flavor like a sweeter than oat milk you know I feel like this is a very ugly snack <laughs> The new bakery opened in the area and um, we're gonna go and see what they've got. Leo actually bought some bread before, which I ate just now. But it's kind of hard and I feel like we just need more because we're gonna eat some for lunch, so let's go. Sorry? It's a whip man behind me, help. <laughs> help me. What's the snack? <laughs> Some vibes. <laughs> I shouldn't complain. Do you want a taste? Yeah. Should we swap? No, I I like them both. It looks like all I'm doing today is getting ice drinks. <laughs> Going out and getting ice drinks. You know, a nice, like, just like. Beige lunch. <laughs> I feel like we always have a beige lunch on the weekend, to be honest. I feel like it's fine. <laughs> I'd prefer if it was a fake sausage, I think. Mm. I'm going out again. I feel like I'm filming nothing at home, but because I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I've been editing. Well done me, editing on a Saturday. Going on a date. Tortelloni? <laughs> what is it? It's something like a lime and pine nut sauce. I can't remember, I'm not gonna lie. But let's see if this good. We've gotta eat mine in small bites, otherwise I will finish in two seconds. We've come to Burrow Yard. We've never been here before. But there's so much stuff and there's actually like loads of people all around. <laughs> We're trying to find um, a vegan cookie restaurant. I think it's all vegan. We'll check before I... 100% commit to that. <laughs> it, it must not be fully open yet because there's still some shops that say like coming soon. Oh, it's here. It's popular. Ooh. So much going on here. And so many people just like stood outside the cookie plate watching the girl. <laughs> I felt kind of bad for her on her own. Good morning. I wanted to leave kind of early for work, but I haven't made my lunch. 
Haven't eaten my breakfast. <laughs> Haven't done anything. Oh, it looks so good. I wish I baked it. <laughs> I didn't go to the gym today because last night my back, sorry, I, sh or I shouldn't talk with this massive knife in my hand. Yesterday my back and my hip was hurting. Today they feel fine, but whatever. It was a risk I didn't want to take. So I didn't go to the gym today. I'm probably gonna go Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which is what I did last week. Not the easiest thing to cut. I'm really bad at making the whole slice the same thickness. I'm pretty tired. I feel like I did not sleep well. It was hard to go to sleep. Jules is becoming an absolute menace. She's meowing so loud, so much. What does she want? How do I know? <laughs> She's just sat in the middle of the floor, like howling. And then last night it was raining. And when I say raining, I mean, it was pouring, which is kind of like, yes, please. I want it to rain. A little bit chilly, a little bit rainy. Everyone's like spending their time indoors and whatever. But it was so loud the rain is pouring whenever it pours it rain something somewhere on one of the windows or it's outside i don't know it drips it's like like thudding like a thudding drip the rain is pouring the fan is on because it's actually kind of still warm so the fan's blaring we've got this humidifier pushing out air like steam or whatever Psh, i've never been more overwhelmed overstimulated like i was awoken from my sleep by the, the rain I think and then suddenly it's like every single sound is going off it's like all I need now is Jules to meow and I'm gonna freak out <laughs> but um I ended up using some earplug I wanted to make a chickpea sandwich like chickpea mayo but I don't have time now so I'm just gonna do chicken slices and coleslaw I need to get some fruit I mean generally I need to get some fruit for work on my way to work I want to get some for me as well, like grapes or berries or something because I feel like I've not really been eating my fruits and veggies so... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Someone's car just fired. This sandwich is going to fall apart for sure. There's so many holes in the sourdough. Oh, yeah. This could all be over We're not okay Shattered glass everywhere Tears of rage Waiting for the rain to stop and take my pain away. Why'd you have to be that mean? Why'd you do me that way? We should know that we won't be in me. But I've been trying to read this book. I've been trying to finish it because I've got a Kindle Unlimited, like two months of free Kindle Unlimited. And I assume it's ending tomorrow because I've got a reminder on my phone to cancel it today. Either I was like really like I don't know premature and was like okay cancel it week before the end or it's gonna end literally tomorrow I don't even know how much it costs but I borrowed a few books and this book I'm literally like now 88% so it's saying I've got one hour and two minutes left in the book and I'm like I can't I can't give it back now <laughs> I googled it because I was like what actually happens if you've got books from Kindle Unlimited and you don't have the Kindle Unlimited subscription anymore and it basically said that you can't access the book so it's like it might still be on the kindle but i won't be able to open it so i need to finish the book to be honest i don't even think it's that great of a book i read the first one and it was five stars i think this one's maybe like a three star it's not as good storyline wise more fighting scenes and like politics and like battles and stuff and i'm just not really into that i don't know some bits are a bit cringe so I'd say it's more like a three star, the first one was a five star. But I'm not being funny, I'm 88% through. I'm gonna finish the book before I give it back. So yeah, it's like 10 p.m. now, so I don't think I'm gonna finish it today. I don't think I'm gonna be able to read for an hour lying down without falling asleep. <laughs> but I will try and finish it today, tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll finish it. I'm going to bed. This is my like Kindle uh, holder where I read in bed. I don't think I've shown it before. I literally clip it here and then I lie down and use this to change the page. <laughs> Good night. Operation read the book is still going. <laughs> read 2% last night <laughs> before I fell asleep. I knew that was gonna happen but it's saying 51 minutes so I think I'll be able to finish it 
hopefully this morning actually like i'm gonna read a little bit now i'll read a bit on my commute mm, that's not 50 minutes worth and i'm also painting my nails brown for autumn i did one coat yesterday and it's kind of like see-through to be honest i don't really like this nail varnish the barry m one because it takes a long time to dry I just woke up Jules. <laughs> it is 6.30. Is that right? No. It's not even 6.30. It's 10 past 6. I'm so tired. It feels so early. It is so dark outside. I know, like, I want the autumn cozy vibes in my head. <laughs> like, now that I'm in the darkness, and I know it's cold outside. I don't want to leave. I feel like I like the cozy autumn vibes of not leaving your house and staying in a blanket and watching TV. Being comfortable and cozy, not waking up at six and going to the gym. But here we are. <laughs> that is me. I've really been filming much because I feel like my week is shaping up to be exactly like the other week in my life that I found. That's life, right? Whose weeks are different every single week? So I'm going to the gym, first workout of the week. I'm trying to do four days because I missed Monday, Tuesday. Now I have to do like four days in a row. This is my third week working out, which is kind of crazy. I also finished my book in case you were stressed. So it's like a duology, but actually I read at the end of the book that it's like gonna be a five part series within the universe. So it was like the two characters that were the main characters in these books are well, like, I guess there's actually more than two main characters, but that was, like, their story. And then the next book, the third book that's coming out, I think it said April 2024, it's set in the same universe, so I guess they're going to become, like, side characters or, like, background. I don't know. But it's going to be about, like, different people. Probably someone that we've already been introduced to. I really thought this was, like, you know, a two-part fantasy series, and I was like, wow, so short not like eight books but turns out it's actually gonna be a long one but it's good because i've read two of them already so it's not gonna feel like overwhelming when the next one comes out part of me knew it wasn't gonna end in like a tragedy but i didn't know how if you know what i mean it's the same with the first one like i you kind of have a feeling what's gonna happen but you don't know how that thing is gonna happen but it was like quite a neat tying of the ends like like, okay, yep, that story's done. And I think that's how the writer wanted it to feel, but like, with also an element of like, who knows what's gonna happen next? And then the next book's gonna be from like someone else's perspective completely. It's a good concept. I just didn't find the book that gripping. I canceled my Kindle Unlimited. Depending on how fast you read, I think it's worth it. Cause they have loads of books on there. I'm gonna read different books now. So I've got this one, Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Tomorrow. I've read like 10% of it so far and I'm not, it's hard to get into, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like there's a lot of hype around it, so I'm gonna read it. And then I'm also gonna read The Throne of Glass, depending on what mood I'm in. Lunch today, we've got pizza with chicken slices, cucumber and mayo, all vegan. I don't have to say it, but do you know what? You might be new, I'm vegan. <laughs> I've got prawn cocktail quavers, I've got a yogurt, and I've got some apple. I feel like a kid. Every time I make a lunchbox, I feel like I'm making it for a child. I basically just try and think of like, if I was a kid, what would I want in my lunchbox? And yogurt, packet of crisps, a sandwich, some fruit. What am I missing? A little chocolate bar. Maybe I'll buy one. <laughs> I actually just remembered we got these BCAs. BCAAs. I see blue Raz. <laughs> Leo goes to the gym all day, every day. He's there right now. He's been there for like an hour. I'm just, I'm just not as committed as him. <laughs> these gym workouts, like I'm so sore after. This is supposed to help. I don't know if it does help or if it's just like a placebo. You think it helps, but it doesn't. Like, I, I don't know. So I'm gonna have some today. So this one we just got from Amazon. It's applied nutrition. This looks scary. I'm really into my like supplements these days. It's not like the best mixed thing ever. I feel like there's still bits floating. Hopefully they'll dissolve. 
I wish I did it in something else because I just don't like the idea of being that girl in the gym with her protein shaker and like, I don't know. I just feel like it's, it's too much. <laughs> Especially when I'm not like, you know, the fittest girl ever, but whatever, we're all with it today. Maybe I'll look at getting like a um, easy to clean water bottle because I don't think you actually need to mix them and shake those. I think you can just shake them in water and they dissolve. I need to stop faffing about. I think I filmed about half an hour of footage just this morning. It's now quarter to seven. I need to go. filmed from this angle before on the sofa but I ordered some stuff from m and I thought I would do an unboxing <laughs> got some tights autumn is just that time of year where you're wearing like tights skirts you know no chafing I feel like all I talk about in these videos is chafing <laughs> they're like the kind of see-through ones not completely see-through not completely black and then I got two pairs of shoes because all of my shoes are ruined. I think it's one because of the way that I walk. Not that I think I walk in a funny way, but like my shoes seem to wear away in the same place all the time. So like I must be walking in a certain way. But also because I don't undo my shoelaces <laughs> when I put my shoes on and off. And I think it just ruins the back of the shoes. So I decided to buy some new shoes. I'm gonna get rid of the old ones and try and take better care of them at this point i'm just wearing my gym trainers all the time even my gym trainers are like they're starting to wear away when i'm like at the gym when i was doing squats the other day i felt like my feet aren't flat on the ground because my shoes are like wearing away it's kind of annoying but it is what it is um i was getting away with wearing sandals but not anymore i'm gonna try them on i'm not wearing socks these are vegan friendly shoes as well it says on the website I've got like just some black, very standard like, sneakers, I guess they were called. And these were 29.50. I got a five and a half. I feel like I'm a size five. The last shoes I bought were six and they were too big, but like in a comfy kind of way. So I've gone for five and a half in these. Oh, I actually got these in a six. I think the review said to size up. I can't remember, to be honest. I, I ordered these like on Sunday and they've come today on Wednesday. Standard shipping was free. The next day delivery was like six pounds. I'll just wait. White trainers. They're a bit like more of like a dad trainer style. I'm not a fashion girl. Like you can tell by the way that I wear this exact same pajama top in every single video. <laughs> I wish it was a bit more fashionable, but I just feel like I don't know. I choose to spend money on food rather than like clothes and stuff. I like them. I like both of them. I feel like these look quite long, but they are a bigger size.
think it's half past six now. And I'm going to go to the gym. I don't think going to the gym four days in a row is the best way to do it. It's not that bad. Once I'm in the gym, I'm fine. But like right now, I don't want to go. I woke up in the night. I think it was like midnight. <laughs> so like, I wasn't that far into the sleep. But I had such a dry sore throat. So I came to the kitchen and got a like cough sweet. I had one and I fell asleep <laughs> and I woke up and it was like inside my cheek hour and a half after I started eating it. It was so tiny and I just like crunched it. I tried to crunch it quietly. It sounded really loud. I think because it was like the dead of night and like Leah was asleep. <laughs> and then I woke up and my tongue was blue. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. I'm risk of choking. Um, but I'm I'm okay. And actually my sore throat's gone, but my voice does sound a bit funny. Maybe they are a little bent. A little too well done. I'm trying to be in the frame. <laughs> bigger than my head. <laughs> my head's bigger than I thought. I'm having a tea and biscuit break. I'm working from home today. I'm allowed to work from home now, which is kind of exciting. Not every day, obviously, because I am an office, like an office manager. So I have to spend most of my time in the office, but it's so nice to have like a day at home. It's Friday, so when I finish work, I just close my laptop and I'm already home. I don't have to commute. I've already been to the gym, so. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna leave the house again today. Um, later on we've got a food delivery coming, a food groceries delivery. I'll show you what I'm up to this evening, which is probably nothing. <laughs> and then that'll be the end of the vlog because starting tomorrow, I'm gonna do a what I eat in a week. So that's coming soon. Well, that's coming next week. Okay, that's your sneak peek at the food that I'm gonna eat over the next week. Some of the food anyway. And I'm gonna end the vlog here. So goodbye from me, thank you for watching. I hope you had a fun time. <laughs> Make sure to give me a like if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you very soon for another video.